Chapter 44 Judgment for Idolatry This is the message Jeremiah received concerning the Judeans living in northern Egypt in the cities of Migdal, Tampanes, and Memphis, and in southern Egypt as well. This is what the Lord of Heaven's armies, the God of Israel, says, You saw the calamity I brought on Jerusalem and all the towns of Judah. They now lie deserted and in ruins. They provoked my anger with all their wickedness. They burned incense and worshipped other gods, gods that neither they nor you nor any of your ancestors had ever even known. Again and again I sent my servants, the prophets, to plead with them. Don't do these horrible things that I hate so much. But my people would not listen or turn back from their wicked ways. They kept on burning incense to these gods. And so my fury boiled over and fell like fire on the towns of Judah and into the streets of Jerusalem. And they are still a desolate ruin today. And now the Lord God of heaven's armies, the God of Israel, asks you, Why are you destroying yourselves? For not one of you will survive, not a man, woman, or child among you who has come here from Judah, not even the babies in your arms. Why provoke my anger by burning incense to the idols you have made here in Egypt? You will only destroy yourselves and make yourselves an object of cursing and mockery for all the nations of the earth. Have you forgotten the sins of your ancestors, the sins of the kings and queens of Judah, and the sins you and your wives committed in Judah and Jerusalem? To this very hour you have shown no remorse or reverence. No one has chosen to follow my word and the decrees I gave to you and your ancestors before you. Therefore, this is what the Lord of Heaven's armies, the God of Israel, says, I am determined to destroy every one of you. I will take this remnant of Judah, those who were determined to come here and live in Egypt, and I will consume them. They will fall here in Egypt, killed by war and famine. All will die, from the least to the greatest. They will be an object of damnation, horror, cursing, and mockery. I will punish them in Egypt, just as I punished them in Jerusalem, by war, famine, and disease. Of that remnant who fled to Egypt, hoping someday to return to Judah, there will be no survivors. Even though they long to return home, only a handful will do so. Then all the women present and all the men who knew that their wives had burned incense to idols, a great crowd of all the Judeans living in northern Egypt and southern Egypt, answered Jeremiah, We will not listen to your messages from the Lord. We will do whatever we want. We will burn incense and pour out liquid offerings to the Queen of Heaven just as much as we like, just as we and our ancestors and our kings and officials have always done in the towns of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. For in those days... We had plenty to eat, and we were well off and had no troubles. But ever since we quit burning incense to the Queen of Heaven and stopped worshipping her with liquid offerings, we have been in great trouble and have been dying from war and famine. Besides, the women added, do you suppose that we were burning incense and pouring out liquid offerings to the Queen of Heaven and making cakes marked with her image without our husbands knowing it and helping us? Of course not. Then Jeremiah said to all of them, men and women alike, who had given him that answer, Do you think the Lord did not know that you and your ancestors, your kings and officials, and all the people were burning incense to idols in the towns of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? It was because the Lord could no longer bear all the disgusting things you were doing that he made your land an object of cursing, a desolate ruin without inhabitants, as it is today. All these terrible things happened to you because you have burned incense to idols and sinned against the Lord. You have refused to obey him and have not followed his instructions, his decrees, and his laws. Then Jeremiah said to them all, including the women, Listen to this message from the Lord, all you citizens of Judah who live in Egypt. This is what the Lord of heaven's armies, the God of Israel, says. You and your wives have said, We will keep our promises to burn incense and pour out liquid offerings to the Queen of Heaven. And you have proved by your actions that you meant it. So go ahead and carry out your promises and vows to her. But listen to this message from the Lord, all you Judeans now living in Egypt. I have sworn by my great name, says the Lord, that my name will no longer be spoken by any of the Judeans in the land of Egypt. None of you may invoke my name or use this oath as surely as the Sovereign Lord lives, for I will watch over you to bring you disaster and not good. 
Everyone from Judah who is now living in Egypt will suffer war and famine until all of you are dead. Only a small number will escape death and return to Judah from Egypt. Then all those who came to Egypt will find out whose words are true, mine or theirs. And this is the proof I give you, says the Lord, that all I have threatened will happen to you, and that I will punish you here. This is what the Lord says, I will turn Pharaoh Hophra, king of Egypt, over to his enemies who want to kill him, just as I turned King Zedekiah of Judah over to King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. Chapter 45 A Message for Baruch The prophet Jeremiah gave a message to Baruch, son of Neriah, in the fourth year of the reign of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, after Baruch had written down everything Jeremiah had dictated to him. He said, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says to you, Baruch. You have said, I am overwhelmed with trouble. Haven't I had enough pain already? And now the Lord has added more. I am worn out from sighing and can find no rest. Baruch, this is what the Lord says. I will destroy this nation that I built. I will uproot what I planted. Are you seeking great things for yourself? Don't do it. I will bring great disaster upon all these people. But I will give you your life as a reward wherever you go. I, the Lord, have spoken.